Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I have some great gift ideas for you and some thrift flips, so let's get started. All right, on this first DIY, I am so excited. I found this rolling pin at the thrift store. It was marked $8, but I went on half price day because they were clearing out for Christmas and I got it for four. I got this new laser the other day and I it was so excited to use it. It lasered this rolling pin like a charm. Oh my gosh, I love how it turned out. So after I got done with it on the laser, I took it inside and I painted the handles black. Now before I put this on the laser, I did sand it down all over really well. Okay, so now I'm just gonna distress those handles. And so I just lightly sand it, just to distress here and there. And then once I am done distressing, I am going to use my Mod Podge to seal this paint. And that is my Mod Podge. And I have it in a squeeze bottle. And this is just the matte Mod Podge. It's the same kind that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. And I just give it two light coats. And I let that dry. And before it's completely dry, I go ahead and remove the painter's tape. And now I'm going to take this buffalo check ribbon and I'm going to tie it around one end. Now, the way I'm going to tie this bow, and I get a little out of camera range, and I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I am just going to tie it in a knot first. And then I make just a regular shoelace bow. And I guess my camera must have zoomed in on me. I don't know what happened here, but see, I tie it tight and I just tie it in a knot first. That way it doesn't move because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this rolling pin or if I was going to sell it in the booth, but it is so stinking cute. I love it. And my grandbabies do call me Nana, although I don't much like the kitchen. <laughs> I don't like the kitchen much, so <laughs> uh, I don't like being stuck in the kitchen cooking. So I just tie a regular shoelace bow and then I dovetail the edges. No, not the edges. I dovetail the ends. And this turns out so cute. And it also matches my Christmas decor. Normally I would paint the handles red and I thought about doing that, but I thought black is year round. Red is also year round, I guess, since it's for the kitchen, but I didn't want to make it too Christmassy so people would think that they would have to put it away after Christmas. And that's how cute that looks. So cute. And I do crinkle up the little tails of the bow just to give it some more character. So let me know what you think. All right, guys, today I am participating in the Thrift Flip Road Trip. And this is hosted by the Crafting Cousins, Trish and Kay. This month's co-host 
is Sammy from Unicorn Dust Design. Now, I know you all know Sammy, and if you don't, you need to hop on over to her channel because you're really missing out. She does a lot of Dollar Tree farmhouse DIYs, and she makes the most gorgeous wood round sign. So make sure you to go over and visit Sammy's channel, and don't forget to go over and visit Trish and Kay. And if you're new to their channels, make sure you let them know that Tammy sent you. All right, guys, let's get back into these DIYs. Well, but first, I'm going to tell you about this laser. Acer sent this to me to review, and guys, I am loving, loving this laser. It is a 10-watt combo set laser engraving machine. That's what they sent me. It came with Air Assist. It came with the 360-degree rotary roller the external air assist. And let me tell you guys, my other one did not come with air assist or the roller. I went ahead and ordered the roller, but I just got it last week. And I ordered the roller before I even posted the video. This Acer is a step above, probably 10 steps above. <laughs> just the quality of the whole frame and how it went together and that they really thought of everything here as far as tying up the the cords and keeping them intact. And I love that the, they have a, a display screen that is a touch screen and you can use it offline. It is compatible with all of your programs. It works extremely well with Lightburn, the laser engraver software. And it is $60 for the year if you want to get that software. I found that out now since we have two lasers, we will be using <laughs> Lightburn as the uh, program to run these lasers. Now, this laser also came with these legs. So it rises up so that your rotary roller will fit underneath the laser perfectly fine. Now, this laser is more precise and I think it gives you a cleaner, better cut. It, it is a little bit more expensive, but it is a combo and it does come with several extra features. As far as the touch screen, it is magnetic, so you can take it off and move it around if you need to, to use it. And it comes with air assist and the rotary roller. If you were to buy the rotary roller, the air assist and the risers, the leg, I mean, you're talking at least another $500 in all of those items from a competitor where this one comes all in one. I will leave that link down below in my description box if you are interested. Now, if I had to choose, I would go with this one because it is a combo and it gives you everything you need. And let me tell you what, that air assist, that takes care of the smoke and the dust and it is so nice. I will not have a laser now without air assist. I didn't realize how important it was until we tried this one out. Now, my husband is just in love with this laser. He likes it so much better. He said the quality of this laser is just above and beyond and very easy to put together. And he loves this laser. Now let's get back into these DIYs. All right, guys, for this next one, oh my gosh, I am so excited about this one. You, I hope you're going to love it. I hope you're going to love it. I say you're going to love it, but because <laughs> I love it and I was so excited to try this. Okay, so um, this is the mirror that I got for $3 at the thrift store and I redid it for Halloween. So now I'm just, I'm just taking the backing off and we are going to be etching this mirror. So now to etch this mirror, what I did was I went into Canva because I don't know how to make it in, I don't know how to make a design in Cricut and then export it as an SVG. So anyway, that's something I need to work on. I'm not even sure you can do that. But I went into Canva and I created this uh, Merry Christmas and I'm not even sure, I think the font is called Breathing because it's, it's different in Canva. So I created this, this design and it says Merry Christmas. And what you have to do is you have to mirror this design. So I exported it as an SVG, so a cut file, and I imported it into Lightburn and then I mirrored the design and then I lasered it onto the back of this mirror. And let me tell you guys, it turned out amazing. Oh my goodness. I love it. And I am going to be doing some more mirrors. I love it so much. 
So watch for those coming soon. <laughs> now, one thing to remember when doing mirrors is it does leave some residue. So you have to clean your mirrors on the back and the front. Well, you have to clean your mirror on the front just because of the fingerprints. But I left that material on the front. It kind of burned onto the mirror. So I had to wash both sides. <laughs> Now we're going to redo the frame. So on the frame for Halloween, what I did was I just spray painted it black. It was gold underneath and then I just distressed it so that you could see the gold coming through. I don't want the gold coming through for Christmas because that's not my colors. So I just take the flat black the rich black in folk art chalk paint and I go all over it and give it one good coat. And then I'm just taking this Dollar Tree brush. It's very stiff. It's like a stencil brush. And I'm just taking my plaster Waverly chalk paint and I am just distressing over the frame so that you can see the detail work. And I am offloading, like I'll put some paint on there and then I'll just offload it onto that um, parchment paper. And that way it's not solid white and it's not solid black, but it's just distressed a little bit all over. And now I'm taking my Mod Podge in matte and I am just going all over it to seal, seal the paint. And when I put this together, guys, oh my goodness. You're going to have to let me know what you think because I think this is my favorite project <laughs> of the video. It is so cool. Oh my goodness. I had no idea it would turn out that amazing. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. For $3. $3, guys. $3. All right, on to DIY number three. Okay, so now this is a Christmas gift for my son. So my youngest son, my baby, just moved out into his own apartment. So mama's kind of sad, but I am making him some Christmas gifts. <laughs> and I believe um, everybody should have a wooden spoon and spatula. I love using wooden spoons and spatulas and you can find them at the thrift store all the time for super cheap. Now these I happened to pick up at Hobby Lobby. I got, I'm not going to lie. I did not pick these up at the thrift store. They had three sets left at Hobby Lobby and right now I believe they were 50 or 60% off. I can't remember right off the top of my head, but they were super cheap. So I picked up three sets and I thought, you know what? I'm going to make these for my children for Christmas. And I'm just going to put little sayings on them or just their initials. Now for my son, I put his initials. This is his last initial or the initial of his last name. It is an F. I know it looks kind of curvy like an E, but it is an F, I promise. And then I do an A for his first name. I love how that turned out. Now, after you laser on wood. Now we didn't soak these and we didn't pre-treat these or anything like that. I just sanded it lightly and put it under the laser. No big deal. And I, I assume, well, I hope that he uses these to cook with. So they're already bamboo. They don't need to be treated or anything, but you could treat them with some tongue oil or um, so even cooking oil. You can use whatever kind of oil you want, but it needs to be food grade safe. So that way they can cook with them. So this is just lasering his first initial here. And that wood round, I actually was trying to burn on the other laser that I got um, about a month ago and it quit working right, well, right there. It's all it did. <laughs> and I couldn't get it to come back online and finish the, the project. So I had to go to plan B when making that video. Anywho, um, so now we just use it as a base for my other projects. 
So I love how this turned out for his first name. Now, I just found these on Canva. I could not find an A to match the F that looked kind of tribal, but I think this one matches pretty well. And you can see the smoke there. I did not have the air assist going, and I should have. Now, once you use the laser and you laser on wood, you need to go over it with a brush or either lightly sand it or go over it with a brush. And that cleans up um, any residue that might be left on your project. But I love how these turned out. These are super cute. I just tied a buffalo check ribbon around them and called it a day and stuck it in his stocking. All right, guys, if you're returning, I want to thank you so much. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and giving me a big thumbs up because that really helps my channel. All right, guys, now this DIY number four, this is just kind of a copulation of little projects that my husband was doing because when he set up the laser, he put it together. He was so excited. He came in and he's like, babe, that thing is amazing. I love it. I want it. I'm keeping it. And I was like, babe, <laughs> it's ours. Like we can share. Okay. And he's like, nope, you can have the first laser. I'm keeping this one. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> anyway. So he just put um, a cup on there because he wanted to try the rotary roller and it worked perfectly. It was amazing. Like we had no problems with this laser. Now the difference between this laser and the other laser is the Acer gets a lot closer to the project. And there is the same arm to, or to measure, there's, there's the same little arm to measure it. Now I don't know that it's in the ideal spot. I would rather it be on the front, but it is kind of on the left side in the back. And I would prefer the arm to be in the front. So Acer, if you're listening, Move that arm to the front so it's easier to get to. Now to lower and raise the actual laser, there is a little screw in the back. Now we are, he used this on stainless steel, a tumbler. He used this on leather. Um, he got a flask for being in his brother's wedding and he did a little design on that. And now he purchased these for his people at work for gifts and he is engraving their names on these I think they're called Leatherman little multi-tools and it turns out super nice and he did all this from his phone he designed he designed this and did all of these projects from his phone from the app on his phone and look how nice that came out super nice he did 35 of those before I could even use the laser myself. <laughs> and then he decided to engrave his own wallet. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, after he got it put together, every time I went out there to try to use it, he was busy using projects. And I'm like, babe, how many times can you engrave the Harley Davidson sign? Like, are you going to put the Harley Davidson on everything you own? And you know what he told me? He was like, Sure, why not? Okay then. So it was a few days before I could even use the laser. <laughs> so I made him record some of his projects. <laughs> but this went so quick and it was so simple. And this is just another example of material that you can engrave on. And this is just a picture. He took a picture of one of his Harley Davidson stickers that he has and um, uploaded it into Lightburn and it engraved it right on his wallet. And it turned out really actually nice, really nice. So just think of the gifts you can make. I was, I was just amazed and I'm like, babe, like I can personalize my own wallets. I can personalize my own purse. Like, you can make keychains. I just, the possibilities with these machines are endless. Like they are an income generating machine. You can do so many things 
with these machines, like the possibilities are absolutely endless. I'm not even going to lie. And he's just showing you how nice that turned out on his wallet. All right, guys, make sure to go over and visit Trish and Kay from the Crafting Cousins and Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs, as well as watch the playlist. I will have everybody's channels linked down below my description box, as well as the playlist. So make sure to hop over and visit that because I am sure you're going to have tons of thrift flipping inspiration for Christmas. And I am still loving this mirror. Oh my goodness. So let me, let me know what you think about these projects and which one you was your favorite. I love them all because I love making things for my children. And Nana's Kitchen. I just love that rolling pin. I think it turned out so cute. And for $4, I mean, come on. But that $3 mirror... That is a showstopper right there. Showstopper. I love it. Now my tree is up, but it is not decorated. <laughs> so I've got to get this video out so I can get my tree done. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite. As well as don't forget to visit that playlist. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.